So it's been a while since I made one of these long tutorials on Shotcut. Now by any chance if you guys have seen these two videos before, they actually did really well and it's kind of surprising for me since I didn't have that much knowledge back then about editing as I do right now. But I do have a new Shotcut tutorial playlist that I do recommend you guys check out and it has all the tutorials you need for anything Shotcut related and if you have any suggestions about new video ideas for the Shotcut tutorial series let me know down in the comments. But with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with this video. So we're on Shotcut right now and as you can see I just open it and this is basically a page that you can be greeted with when opening opening shotcut. Now it might look different depending on what version you're using, but it's basically the same process. So the first thing we're going to do is name our project name. And for now, I'm just going to put it as test project. From there, I'm just going to select the video mode and you have different modes that you guys can use. But most of the time when editing simple YouTube videos, I would just choose HD 1080p 60 FPS and then we just hit start. As you can see, this is basically the main layout. We have all our tabs here, our export properties, playlist, and filters tabs but the playlist is where we're going to put our videos we got our preview screen right here so we can see the video and the edits that we're making we got the export tab and our timeline now in order to add a video and audio track all we have to do is just hit that little bar icon we're going to add a video track and then we're going to add a audio track for now we're going to be editing a pretty simple video we're just going to be adding some few clips and adding some music to our video now you can substitute the music with a voiceover if you guys are talking in your videos with some music background if you guys want to but this track should help you guys out when you're adding your video clips so in order to import your project files, all we have to do is just hit that little icon project file. Then you're going to be presented with this window where you're going to be looking through the computer for your video clip shots. Now I'm just going to use these shots that I have used before and I'm just going to select and hit open. As you can see, we can see in the preview window and I can basically just click and drag it to my playlist. And that's basically pretty much it. I'm going to be keep doing this for all the files that I'm going to be using, such as my video clips and my background music, just to get everything ready. And that's why I suggest that you guys do get all your files ready before starting a simple edit. Now that we got all our files ready to go, the next thing is adding it to our timeline down below. Now remember, you guys are welcome to pause whenever in the video, just in case you guys need to catch up. Now we're taking our first clip and we're just clicking and dragging and placing it to our video track down below in the timeline. And as you can see, it will just snap right in place. You guys want to make sure you put it in the beginning so you don't have any empty spaces in your timeline. And just like that, we can see it in our preview window now. Now, in order to scrub through your video or to look for specific points in the video, you can use that little cursor on the preview screen or you can come down here to the timeline and use this little eye marker and we can place it wherever in the video track we want to. And I'm going to go over these little icons that we see on top of the timeline. Now we have our copy and paste icon, our cutting icon to cut any videos out, but we also have a split playhead icon. So I can just place this playhead wherever and I can use that little icon or I can right click and use Use split at playhead this will split the video in two and we can delete the one half of the video that we don't need by hitting delete on our keyboard then I'm just gonna get my second clip and put it on the same video track right beside it and as we can see it's set and ready to go now in order to put these videos clips together and make a transition all we have to do is just get the video clip that we just put in our timeline our second video clip drag it and overlay it over our first video clip once we got that you will get this little purple space in between these two videos and and that is our transition point. This will make one clip transitioning into another really smooth and it's just basically a proper way to move on to the next clip. The next thing I'm going to do is just shorten this video clip using the same way, put the playhead wherever, right click and split at playhead and remove the remaining part of the video clip. Next, I'm just going to go to the timeline settings and add a different video track on top of the previous one that I just made. Here, you guys can put any sort of video overlay, either if that's a face cam, an image emoji that you guys want to use, or even a lower third like I am doing now. This is basically a simple way to use video overlays. Now, I did make a previous video on how to use an image overlay on Shotcut. This is basically the rough draft of it, but if you want a more indescript video, I suggest that you guys check out that video because it help you a lot. Now I'm just basically trimming the subscribe button to an appropriate time on top of my video and as you can see it's basically transparent but I just made some adjustments before importing this clip on Shotcut. Now you guys can use any image like I said before to do an image overlay on the different settings and different ways to crop and trim a video. 
Now that I'm done basically placing my image or video overlay on top of the primary video, I'm just going to come here to the first video clip. I want to sure it's selected and we're just going to add a basic filter. So make sure your first video clip is selected. Go to filters tab and hit that little plus button. Now we have different video filters here, either for video or audio. For now, I'm just going to go to video and we're going to be looking for a fade in video filter. Now we can basically adjust the time of this, but I'm just going to keep it at one minute. And as you can see, we have this little fade in opaque overlay on top of our video. And as you can see, there are many filters that you guys can implement on your videos using shotcut, either if that's a special visual effect or even color grading, but that can be a tutorial for next day. The next thing we're going to do is select our last clip or a second clip. We're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to go to filter and hit fade out video. This will give you the same results and we're going to keep all the settings default. This will give us a pretty nice intro and outro as it fades in and fades out. The next thing we're going to do is add our background music or voiceover if you guys are using a voiceover. Either one is fine as long as you have added a audio track into your timeline. I'm just going to choose this file and drag it underneath my video track. Now I'm going to match the same length of the audio track to my video track. And by doing that, I just move the cursor all the way to the end, split the video and delete the remaining part. Now, if it's getting pretty hard to see when you're editing and if you're adding so many elements, there's actually two ways that you can make more room on your timeline. One way is basically from zooming in and zooming out using that little icon that we can find on top of the timeline. Another way is using these little toggles that are found in certain places of Shaka like I am doing right now that you can actually stretch the size of a certain tool such as the timeline I'm doing now. After that, we're just going to add some filters to our audio. Now, first, we want to make sure that we have selected our audio. As you can see, that turns into a little red outline when you select a certain thing. And we're going to add filters. So we go to the filter plus button. And this time we're going to move to the audio tab. From there, I'm just going to be looking for a fade in audio like we did for our video clips. This time, I'm just going to put it down to about 50 seconds. We go back to the plus button and we're just going to put a fade out audio and I'm just going to put it for 50 seconds as well. The next thing we're going to be looking for is for a gain in volume filter. Now this will allow us to control the volume of our audio clip. I'm just going to press gain volume and as you can see it gives us this little toggle so we can manipulate the levels of the audio. Now I don't want it too high but I just want it just low enough so it doesn't become distracting. From there we just go to playlist and we got our video clip basically edited. Now there are many features that I didn't go over this video just because I said it was a pretty simple tutorial for this one. But like I said before, I have different tutorials going in depth over certain tools that you guys can use in Shotcut. But this is basically how you guys can compose and edit all your video clips in Shotcut. Now another tip for you, if you select on the transition that you just made, right click and hit properties, we'll be open with this little properties tab and you guys can actually change the softness and the video type of transition that you guys are using. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at dissolve and basically leave everything as I think it's just a pretty simple transition, but you guys can change the type of transition and just explore to see which one better fits your video. Now the last thing to do is export a video. So what I'm going to do is just hit the export button and as you can see, we have all these little presets like the H.264 and the YouTube preset and all these different presets that you guys have. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at H.264 and then from there, we're going to go to advanced. Then we're presented with a format and we're just going to leave that MP4. We're going to leave the video, the codec and the audio, all these settings as default as I see these basically works best when you're exporting a video. The last thing is just hit export video. We're going to be open with our files and basically just make sure we name all our files like we have. From there, your video will be downloaded into MP4 format so it's ready to see once you guys are done exporting the video. And as you can see, if you go to the little jobs tab right here, this is basically the export tab and we can see where it's going to be exported and what percent it is on to export. Now, I do have a really good exporting video on Shotcut that will teach you the absolute best settings to export your videos for YouTube or your personal projects. But that's basically how you guys can start a project using Shotcut in an easy way. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And like I said before, I do have that Shotcut tutorial playlist ready for you guys to see. And if you have any suggestions for any future tutorials, let me know down in the comments. And comment down below if this video helped you in any way. But that's pretty much it for me guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.